Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're talking about the new Valentine's Day collection for 2022 from ColourPop. It's called Secret Admirer, and it is super adorable, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me give you the details first. This collection is launching on the ColourPop site on Thursday, January 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, so make sure you check your time zones. I know that their collections haven't really been selling out super quickly like they used to, but these little heart blushes are a very hot item. They completely sold out last time they made these, so if anything is truly going to sell out, it's going to be the heart blushes. If you end up deciding that you want one of those, I would be ready at launch time because I think the most popular shades will go really quickly. I don't know how many of these they make. I don't know if they're super, super stocked up or what, but just keep an eye on that if you're not sure what your time zone time is. Just a quick Google search to see what 10 a.m. Pacific time is relative to where you live. I am not sure if or when this collection will be at Ulta. I have a feeling that it probably will be, but just keep in mind that some of the items may remain a ColourPop site exclusive. So I, I don't really have any insight on that. This is just a guess based on past collections. Since I'm only doing palette comparisons in this video and there are a lot of other pieces that I think are worth comparing in this collection, I just can't get this video out in a timely manner if I try to include tons and tons of comparisons for everything. I want to schedule a time for comparison requests on my Instagram stories. If you go to Makeup Just For Fun on Instagram on the day that this video is posted, so Wednesday, January 26th, I will be taking comparison requests on my stories, especially for things like the blushes, the lip creams, the Soul Body products. That way you can get a lot more comparisons and you can see exactly the products that you're curious about. So hopefully that will be an easy and helpful way to just get some more comparisons to you. I used to do these a lot, but they became so time consuming. It literally takes hours to find all the products, watch everything nicely. So I'm going to put a request box up on my stories. Just reply to that and I'll try to do as many of those as I can. Lastly, as far as I know, affiliate codes should work on this new Valentine's Day collection. You can always use my code AMANDA. It saves 10% on most items on the site. There are some exclusions that apply, but just keep an eye on your cart totals. Make sure you're getting the best deal possible. And as usual, I greatly appreciate anybody who chooses to use my code to support the channel. Really makes a big difference to me and I really really appreciate you. Let's just talk about the makeup because that part is way more fun for everybody. We have a lot of items in this Valentine's Day collection and the first one we're going to look at is a little duo from 4th Ray. This is a mini good mood moisturizer and a strawberry lip mask. This will probably be around the $18 mark for this duo. They do like to switch up the prices last minute, so please do not come for me in the comments if they change their mind on the price between the information I got and when it actually launches. But I will tell you, I think this is one of my favorite items in this collection because these are two products that I use as a part of my daily routine. So I really like this little good together set and I definitely recommend it, especially for my fellow dry skin peeps out there. Next, we have the Soul Body Mini Shimmering Dry Oil. This item does have a special outer carton packaging. This really cute metallic pink lettering, lots of little hearts. It's very, very on the nose, but I think that Valentine's Day is one of the holidays where I kind of like that. That's really what I want, so I don't mind it. Otherwise, the bottle on the product itself doesn't have any special packaging. It's just the standard 
mini oil bottle and these are typically priced at ten dollars a piece so that's where my price estimation comes from this shade is super pretty same with the powder of the same shade name now this is the full size body powder this is not one of the minis that typically comes out with these special color pop collections like this that's why i believe that the pretty peachy shimmering body powder will be priced at 14 us dollars both the body powder and the body oil from Seoul have the very traditional sort of coconutty sun tanning oil type of scent to them. However, unlike the oil, this body powder does have special packaging on the compact itself as well as on the outer carton. The pretty peachy shade is a very, very peachy pink base with a lot of shifty gold shimmers. And I think of this as sort of like a NARS orgasm on steroids. It seems way, way more shimmery, which makes sense. It's meant to be a shimmering body powder. But I think that versus wearing it on the body, I would most likely wear the pretty peachy powder on my cheeks as like a shimmery blush topper or, or even just as a stand-in for both blush and highlighter. I also think this would be really, really pretty on the eyes as an eyeshadow. I also really like this color because it's one of those universally flattering shades and I think it'll pair well with the blushes that we will see later on. First, we're gonna talk about these hair accessories. We have some little hair clips here. These should be around the $10 mark. This is not their first time doing hair accessories. And I think this is the perfect collection to introduce an item like this. They're really cute. I think a lot of people are gonna like them. They're very in right now. And they're just, you know, they're fun. They look cute in pictures. I'm all for it. They're also introducing a hairbrush. This is for some reason called the mystery date hairbrush. It's not a mystery, nor is it a date. Discuss. Okay, I just really aged myself right there. I'm sorry, all youngins who have no idea what I'm talking about. Yes, it is a hairbrush, and it's a pretty teeny tiny hairbrush. I'm going to show you a comparison with a couple of things. First of all, it's only about the length of my hand, and I am a very small person, so I have a small hand. It's also dwarfed by the Soul Body Compact, which in fairness is one of their larger compacts. It is comparable in size to one of the blushes. It's just a very small brush. I want you to be prepared for that. If you order it, it is small. So there's that. It looks like a child's item. Anyway, let's talk about the lip products. We have six shades of the Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. I'm guessing these will be about $8 a piece. They do have special packaging on the box and on the little lids here. You can see the heart with wings being pierced by the arrow. It's very cute. I really like it. I think that it's fun to have these little special details. Otherwise, size, shape, the scent, the formula, everything otherwise is the same as the previously released lip creams and it does have the exact same doe foot applicator which is this smaller kind of pointy precision application tip type of applicator and it works really well for this product i'm going to be honest this is the perfect applicator for this formula we do have six different shades as i mentioned previously so i just wanted to give you a close-up of what these look like in the little lipstick tube in the container and of course i'm also going to show you swatches of all six shades i didn't do lip swatches but i do have a full rundown of this formula in a dedicated video so if you're interested to hear more about performance what these look like on the lips and just my full thoughts my full review i will try to remember to link my dedicated video so that you can just get a little bit more info about this product since it is a newer formula for ColourPop. Now, what I anticipate will be the most popular product are these little heart-shaped blushes. 
These are really cute. People went nuts over them last year. And now we have an expanded shade range. There were only three in last year's collection. Now we have six. And of the six, only one is returning from the previous heart blush release. I am fairly certain that these were priced at $10 a piece last time. So that's where this guess comes from. Maybe since they were so popular, they'll become a little bit more expensive. I don't know, but I'm guessing these will be around the $10 price point. And yes, I did paint my nails to match all of the pink things. I want to give you a comparison between the old Kiss and Tell blush and the new one, since this is the only returning blush shade that we've seen. So we do have slightly different packaging. And I got to tell you, I think that these newly released heart blushes are a better formula. The older ones were just a little bit thinner feeling, a little bit drier feeling, and I think that the new ones are softer and I think they apply more easily. I don't think these are the exact same shade, but it could just be that my old one is old. So I don't know. I just thought it was worth giving you that info and my experience this one is the new kiss and tell blush so i will be including the new version in the swatches and everything here just to give you the most up-to-date and hopefully the most useful information possible i'm swatching these three at a time because i like to do a slightly larger swatch for my blushes just because this is a face item and it typically is the type of thing that is applied over a larger area now I am swatching these with my finger instead of with a brush. So this is a more dense, more opaque look on my arm than it probably would be applied to your cheeks. But I do think that speaks to how buildable this formula is. And I also just really wanna build up that pigmentation so that you can truly see the colors and hopefully that will help you choose the right one for you. For me personally, I think that this is the single best item and the one thing that I would definitely recommend picking up from this collection. I think all of the shades are really, really beautiful. They're all completely matte. There is no shimmer in here. And one of the places that they've really struggled in the past, in my opinion, is repeating themselves with their blushes in every single release, putting out the same two blushes, a bright peach, a bright pink, and that was kind of really overdone. And I think this selection is way better. Now, let's move on to the palette. This is the final product in this collection that we're gonna be talking about today. This is the Secret Admirer palette. It should be priced at 14 US dollars. It contains nine shades and this is a cardboard palette, but it has some special packaging instead of the typical cardboard carton. It has this little sort of envelope shaped box. It's really cute. It's very, very Valentine's. I really like it. The palette itself is in cardboard packaging. It does not have a mirror inside. And this is one of their smaller nine pan palettes. So not the big pans like by the Rosé or of Quartz or Limoncello, those larger circular pans. This is the smaller ones like the sort of OG monochromatic palettes. There are some shades with eye safety warnings in here. Just check out my wine collection video for more information on what that even means and why you should pay attention to it. And as a side note, for my vegan and carmine allergic friends, this does have carmine in the may contain section of pretty much all of these shadow shades. We have a brand new pan shape here. These two little heart shaped pans are so, so cute. I really, really like this idea. I hope that we continue to see these fun little packaging details because this very much catches my eye, very much catches my attention. I am a sucker for cute things, and this is very cute. This palette contains five true mattes. For regular shimmers, there are no mattes with glitter. There are no pressed glitters. There are no duochrome or multichrome shades. This is a pretty straightforward palette. It's a pretty straightforward color story. I will be honest with you. 
I think that the packaging is more exciting than the shades in here. This does feel a little repetitive. It feels a little bit one note for me. Once you see just a handful of comparisons that I've done, I think that you will kind of be on the same page with me. But here's a close up nonetheless. Brush swatches are on bottom, finger swatches are on top. And now we're gonna do a couple of comparisons. Ooh La La is an OG pink palette. This is one of their first nine pan palettes, if not their first. I have to dig into the history here, but this one's been around for a while. And I think the color story of Ooh La La is honestly more exciting than Secret Admirer. Ooh La La just has a little bit more variety. And next up we have Strawberry Shake. Now, Strawberry Shake is more peachy, but again, I do think this lends more variety. Secret Admirer is very warm brownish pink and Strawberry Shake does shake it up a little bit, if you know what I mean. There is a little bit more variety with a bold red, a pale peach, you know, we're getting a little bit more contrast happening. This is a more recent release, the By the Rosé palette, which I mentioned earlier, has the larger pans. By the Rosé is quite a bit more neutral. When you see it compared to Secret Admirer, it's not very, very pink. It's sort of neutral that's just sort of leaning pink. It is moderately pink, but not overwhelmingly pink. Now, these two mega palette comparisons, first Smoke and Roses, which I think is very, very similar. The main difference here is just that it doesn't have that brighter pink shimmer in the middle. Otherwise, I do think these are pretty much exactly the same shades. So if you have Smoke and Roses and one bright pink, you pretty much already have this palette. And then we have the It's All Good, kind of an older mega palette release. And this one does have that bright pink. And again, it feels very similar, not quite as on the nose dupe as Smoke and Roses, but you know, you pretty much get the picture. I think you're going to get the same eye looks from this palette. So, you know, the palette's cute. I like the packaging. I like the idea. I just don't really love the color story that much. I realize not everybody has every ColourPop palette under the sun. And if you don't have any of the palettes I compared it to, maybe this is your perfect chance to jump on a new ColourPop 9 pan. However, I think probably most people already have these shades. And if you're drawn to it, it's just for the cuteness factor, which you know what? No judgment here because I have fallen into the cuteness trap many, many times. Personally, my top picks are going to be the heart blushes. They're all really beautiful. If I had to pick one single favorite personally for my skin tone, I would go with Flirt Alert. It seems a little bit more like a dusty rose, almost cooler type of color. And I just think it's really interesting and really flattering. I love overall the whole shade range. I think there's definitely at least one blush for everybody, regardless of your style or your skin tone or your undertone. So I love to see a really, really inclusive cheek collection like that. My other top pick is actually the Fourth Ray Duo, just because these are very much tried and true constant repurchase type of products that I've loved for a long time and it's easy for me to recommend them because they've been such staple items for me. So those are my top picks. I would love to hear what you think about this collection. Are you interested? Are you picking anything up? Make sure you check Makeup Just For Fun on Instagram for some more comparison requests. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Also, I love your face. Okay, bye for real this time. Bye.